Hi out there in Radio Land. I would like to present this mouse trap motor electric uh, for the world to see. I built this a few years ago as just the extra size in electrical circuitry. Uh, the prints are on the internet here if you want to build one and I, I do suggest that you do build one to understand electrical circuitry uh, this one happens to be built on a mousetrap base uh, uh, battery supports with two nails circ uh, uprights with two nails copper wire uh, this was nothing more than about a foot of salvaged uh, copper enamel coated wire uh, refrigerator magnet, one and a half volt battery. Uh, this one is about half discharged. The polarity controls the rotation of the engine. The armature, copper coated wire, size is forgiven. The number of coils in the wire is forgiving. It's one piece, enamel, enamel coated copper wire, uh, starts on this end, comes around, makes a couple of coils, and then this armature, and that the amount of coils is forgiving, terminates on this end. You do scrape away the enamel on one side of the output over here, one side of the output over here. You scrape away the enamel on the seat of these two uprights to make the electrical circuitry. You put that on there, and it controls the speed. Uh, further away from the coil, the slower it goes. The closer to the coil, the faster it goes. The polarity of the battery controls the rotation of the, of the engine. Uh, turn it around, it goes the other way. Uh, it's electrical circuitry, magnetism, battery, uh, it's uh, uh, extra size in electricity. Uh, I suggest that you do build one. Uh, it's, uh, they are quite interesting in their operation. Uh, so simple to function. The upright, and you do scrape away the enamel in the seat of the uprights and you scrape away the enamel coating on the outputs of the coil. The coil is a simple length of copper wire enamel coated. Uh, this happened to be salvaged from a piece of some kind of equipment that I had disassembled, an uh, electric motor. Um, so uh, they are cheap to build and uh, this one runs quite well. I've had hours of fun with it, explaining it, showing it to people, and um, everyone needs to build one just just to understand electric principle. Um, it's uh, it's very simple, easy to build. Uh, just build you one. Uh, uh, I, I suggest it highly. Build one. Uh, just the simplicity of it, um, and. Uh, the blueprints, if you need a blueprint, is uh, here on the internet. Uh, just type in uh, simple engine uh, and you'll get to it. Uh, actually, if you just look at this and uh, give it a little bit of thought, uh, you really don't need a blueprint, but they are out there. And um, uh, But this is just how simple it is. These little engines would have no power uh, output. Um, as simple the circuitry is, uh, uh, build you one. It's uh, it's just an exercise in uh, 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 engine functioning. Battery polarity controls the rotation of the engine. Uh, reverse the battery, the engine runs in a, in the opposite direction. Uh, simple circuitry, just uh, battery voltage comes through, comes down, comes up through the upright. Uh, you do scrape away the enamel coating in the upright seats and then you scrape away the enamel coating on the 
uh, armature itself and the position of the magnet uh, controls the uh, speed of the engine and um, uh, it's just uh, electrical circuitry in its most simple form. It's just uh, country boy logic, uh, shop dog Sam here. Uh, I'll post something else uh, shortly. Uh, enjoy.